Hey all. Um, so told I told the two A students um, they should be able to uh, go over these exercises and understand them. So they they have some understanding of what the graphic is and they are learning to differentiate graphics distance with time. Uh, let's see if I have velocity with time and acceleration with time. So I'm taping this for you and email me if you have any question. So what I'm gonna do on Tuesday with them is I will take this entire um, handout and I will select three or four questions from there and have them answering in the beginning of class. So they don't know which one it is. Um, and I also, I don't know yet because I haven't made those questions yet, but I will take from here. So your job is to be able to answer uh, their questions and go through um, this exercise with them. And, and I will be there to help, but you, you should be able to pass information correctly to them. So the first is what do you do to create a horizontal line on a distance time graphic? So we have a distance time, as you can see the distance, the position. So if you think about these axes as having numbers, so here the number is fixed, right? And the time is changing and that means, so you're not moving. So what do you do? You don't move. In the second graphic, you have a distance versus time and the slope of a graphic distance versus time it gives you velocity, basically, right? The tangent to the path. In fact, the tangent to the curve distance with time gives you velocity. In this case, the slope is always the same, which means you have a velocity that is constant and more than that is positive, which means um, you should set your origins and move away from the origins in a positive direction with a constant velocity. Let's say you walk, you jog one meter per second away from the origin. Graphic number three, um, when you, uh, again, the, the slope is constant, doesn't change, and it means the velocity is constant. But in this case, uh, the slope is negative, right? So how do we know the slope is negative? The definition of the slope is final position, which is zero, minus the initial position, any number. So zero minus any number is a negative number, divided by final time minus initial time. So you have a negative number dividing by a positive number that gives you a negative ratio. Uh, so we have a negative velocity here. But it's constant. Okay. So what you do in this case, well, set your origin and move towards the origin with a constant pace. Like let's say your door and your the door in your house is your origin, and you are moving towards your house with a constant velocity. Graphic number four, you have to break the lines. So you have a constant velocity here and positive and a constant velocity here and positive, except that the slope here is bigger than the slope there. So you have a, um, a velocity here that is higher than it is in the second segment, but both of them are positive. Um, in a U-shaped graphic, so if you take now uh, the slope in every single segment of this graphic. So if you think about the slope here, it's almost zero, right? And the slope is here, is zero too. But the slope here is zero, and then, and then it keeps going on a negative value. And, and it goes to a maximum value here, and the slope still negative diminished to zero. So it's as if you start with a zero speed, and then you speed up to a maximum value, and then it goes down to a zero volume speed. If you think about velocity, which requires signs, so if you take a tangent here, zero, but a tangent at any given point here is a negative 
right, has a negative slope like this one. And which means, so you start with a zero velocity, and then you move towards your origin, because the velocity is negative, but it's speeding up, and then, and then you slow down towards the origin as you stop here. Okay. And then in the second part, you, you, you speed up again, all is positive, to a maximum value here, and then the slope keeps diminishing and then eventually stops. So you now you are in your origin right here, and then you start speed up to a maximum value, and then you slow down to a full stop right there. Okay, stop, speed up, higher speed, zero, slow down, zero, uh, speed up, highest speed, slow down, zero. So we have two objects, A and B, distance with time. Uh, a has a positive velocity, B has a positive velocity. Uh, a has an initial velocity that is bigger than the initial velocity of mobile B. Uh, B has, I'm sorry, uh, I'm all screwed here. So this is a distance versus time, uh, the initial position of uh, object A is ahead of object B, basically. Um, object A has a slope, has a speed that is less than its um, object B. So at object B, in terms of speed, is faster than it is object A. Okay. So what happened is at this point here, this time, object B overtakes object A. So object B passes A at this time over here, okay? That's what it is. So A is ahead, B is behind. So they start, at the same time they start, let's say, running. But B runs faster and eventually overtakes A at this time. So in answer to this question, which object is moving faster? That is B. Uh, which starts ahead is A, right? A has a head start. Uh, the intersection means when B passes A, which object, in, okay, now in this case, which object in mo is moving faster? So when you have the word faster, you, you're not considering speed, you're considering speed, uh, I'm sorry, you're not considering velocity, but speed. So moving faster means uh, which one is faster, not not velocity, you're not thinking about velocity. Remember, velocity is something that requires direction. So you have object A that has a certain slope and is moving in a positive direction. Object B has a certain slope but is moving in a negative direction. So it's as if A is going from, um, A are two mar a married couple, right? So both live in the same house. So. Uh, object A is, let's say, the male uh, member <laughs> of this couple that is moving out of the house and going to work in a straight line. And object B is the wife that is in her work or whatever and is going towards home. So the way you interpret this graphic is uh, the graphic is start counting at the same time. A is moving away from... Uh, the origin and B is moving towards the origin and uh, they meet at this point. Which object is moving faster? You have to determine the slope. It seems that A has a uh, A has a, a bigger slope so A is faster. Which object has a negative velocity? That is B. Uh, in this case, so B has almost no slope at all, right? And A has a big slope, so B, A is faster than B. Um, A has a negative velocity, B has a positive velocity, but B is almost stopping. So which object is moving faster? A is moving faster, which starts ahead? A starts ahead. Explain what you mean by ahead. Well, if you take um, an origin at certain point, uh, B 
let's say this is zero, B is at three meters away from origin, and A is 10 meters away from origin, right? So A is moving towards origin, and B is moving away from the origin very slowly, and A is going faster towards origin. Uh, sketch the distance, position versus time graphic corresponding to each of the following description. So I have to sketch. Um, I will. I will um, change now uh, the media. I'm gonna get a. Uh, I'm gonna get a, a PDF file. Okay.